Hello, mate. Thanks for clicking on this video. You're watching Video Game Subscription Wars, the channel that covers every game on every video game subscription. And today we're talking about EA Play on Steam, EA's new subscription that has made its way to the Steam PC client. You may not be familiar with EA Play, but it's not actually a brand new subscription, rather a rebranding of EA's previous subscriptions known as EA Access for consoles and Origin Access basic and premier versions for the Origin PC client. Whether it's for console, Origin or Steam, EA Play is the same price of £3.99 per month or £20 per year or $4.99 per month or $30 a year. The only exception being the EA Play Pro subscription for Origin which is £14.99 per month or £90 per year. But let me tell you, you don't get much more for that extra money. Despite the same price, the libraries are far from identical. And actually my last video covered the difference in uh, EA Play libraries for PS4, Xbox One and PC, because at the time I thought EA Play for PC just meant Origin. But the day that video dropped, um, EA introduced EA Play for Steam. And again, the library differs ever so slightly. If you want the short version, I think the EA Play library is slightly better than EA Play on console, but not quite as good, at least in terms of the variety of games you have as EA Play on Origin. And that kind of makes sense because there are more games developed or published by EA on PC than there are on console, but EA don't want people using Steam. They would rather have you go through and use their Origin client. And that's actually the reason why you haven't been able to play any EA games on Steam um, in recent years up until now because uh, EA and Valve have had that rivalry between PC clients. But that's all changed now. So what I'm going to do is pretty much the same thing I did in my last video. Take a live look at the EA Play library on Steam to help you decide if you think it's right for you. So the first thing to do is just take a broad look at the games on offer. Um, you don't, the, the notable difference I can see straight off the bat is you don't get FIFA or Madden or NHL, which are obviously some of um, EA's biggest titles. Um, but you do get some good games like Titanfall 2, uh, Battlefield 1, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Mass Effect Andromeda. Nope. Rocket Arena seems pretty good. That's a 3v3 battle arena game where you, it's kind of, imagine Smash Bros., um, but it's 3v3, 3D, and uh, you're all in a tight arena and you all have rocket launchers. That's probably the best way to describe that. Need for Speed Heat is supposed to be pretty good. Um, I don't think it differs that greatly from previous Need for Speed titles, but it's an EA game, so why would it? Plants vs Zombies, um, as I said in my last video, I haven't actually played, and I still haven't played it, but um, all I know about it is it's a third person shooter. Don't know much more than that. Don't know how good it is either, to be honest. Sea of Solitude is one of the indie titles we've got on here. Unravel 2 is another good indie game. And Fae. Fae? Yeah, and so Need for Speed Payback, I'm guessing, is the Need for Speed before Heat. Um, Titanfall 2 is definitely, I'd say that's probably the best game on here, at least on this first page, but there's not going to be any uh, ones better that to come, trust me. Still got a pretty good user base on as well, especially if you're going to get an influx of players coming from Steam. I would like to think Titanfall would uh, pick up a bit more of a player base. Um, and it's really good. And it's got a good campaign as well. So even if you're just looking to play single player Titanfall 2, I would definitely look into um, first if you haven't played it already. The Sims 4 is obviously a classic. And the fact that we haven't seen a new Sims game is hopefully, considering this is EA, is probably a sign that they've kind of maxed out the Sims. You don't get any of the expansion packs in The Sims 4, which there are a lot of, um, but you don't get that in any of the, even the premier EA Play subscription, you don't get the Sims 4 DLC packs. Crisis 3 is a really good shooter, but lacks any kind of online player base, at least when I played it on Origin. And then you've got all the Battlefield games that I think Battlefield 4 is still pretty good. Hardline isn't, in my opinion. Um, you get the Mass Effect trilogy and the Dead Space trilogy, which are both very, very good. And uh, I think the second one in both of those trilogies is undoubtedly the best. You get Dragon Age, um, need for, another Need for Speed, two, two more Need for Speed. So I'm guessing you get the whole Need for Speed franchise on here, apart from the older titles, which are the only ones... I've played because like Need for Speed Underground 2, that was the shit. Need for Speed Pursuit, <laughs> I didn't realize how many Need for Speed games there are. 
uh medal of honor when they rebooted that i can't remember how old that is i want to say kind of 2016 kind of time i don't imagine there are that many people playing that anymore to be honest um peggle is pretty awesome plants vs zombies i'm guessing that's the actual like the original mobile plants vs zombies um are you gonna give me any screenshots yeah so that's like if you want <laughs> if you want a mobile game you can play that through ea play on steam um and then final page we've got the first mirror's edge as well spore the first crisis medal of honor airborne which i played in origin and it did not hold up well at all and SimCity 4 so you get um well you don't get the most recent SimCity. this is from pff, maybe 2010 um so but it might be better than the reboot to be honest uh, that, that's worth playing for sure so i would say the highlights are going to be titanfall 2 the mass effect trilogy um battlefield and mirror's edge i guess it's not a totally convincing slate of games especially when i'm guessing now you can buy any of these individually and i think the slate the the, the library itself doesn't hold up to be worth that monthly cost looking at this right now that's my initial reaction um and that's partly because you can buy these games individually so i would recommend like buy mass effect 2 buy titanfall 2 if they're reasonably priced i don't know um and maybe buy the sims 4 or, or dead space 2 you could buy a couple of those games and be sorted for a good while rather than rather than paying a monthly price and you know getting stuck playing i mean battlefield 5 and battlefield 1 are pretty good um if you're if you're into uh, military shooters they're, they're they're some of the best ones but yeah i mean it's not massive i'm not i'm not super taken by it because i mentioned in my last video i looked at the other libraries you get all of this there's not a single game that is exclusive to ea play on steam you get all of these on origin you also get fifa and madden 20 um an anthem and remember that's the same price and you also get all of these games um if you want a, a better look check out my my previous video um at some of the games you get on origin but this considering they're the same price i know people have their predispositions about origin as a pc client but i've really had no problems with it so i think you know either my my, my advice would be either buy a couple of these games individually on steam and enjoy the fact that EA games are on Steam again, or go all in and get EA Play on Origin and have... I mean, look, there are so many more games on Origin. The original Star Wars Battlefront, there's all this loads of good Star Wars games, and I also have a video on that if you want to check that out. Um, Super Hot's pretty good. Um, all the Tropico, Vampire, Ultimate Chicken Horse is really good. Worms, WMD. I mean, it's still a decent slate of games for five dollars a month don't get me wrong it's not bad but it's a shame they don't have um the fifas on there i feel like that would be i'm not sure why i'm guessing they're one of the games that ea wants to restrict to origin to keep people on the platform but uh it's i think that's kind of missing because if you want your three main titles to be need for speed heat plants versus zombies and rocket arena you're gonna struggle i think even if you've got a few more other decent games along the way so that was a quick look at the ea play library on steam and to be honest i think the only reason you would pick ea play on steam over origin is if you had some kind of hate towards origin which i understand is the case for a lot of people looking on reddit and other places i've seen a lot a lot of hate towards the the, the client being broken but i actually have had surprisingly like astonishingly little problems and it's actually proven to be better than my experience with the xbox game pass for pc app which i never thought i'd say i never thought ea would outdo microsoft when it came to a pc client <laughs> steam might well be the best game launcher still it probably still is but for me i'd rather have access to those extra games that you get on origin um, rather than form this unbreakable bond with steam the Origin Beta, uh, which has just come out and I've started trying, is a little easier on the eye as well um, and seems to be designed with more of a focus on the subscription model. It seems like EA Play is their main focus there. 
which I'm happy to hear about because that's what my channel is all about. Um, and after this little neat segue, I'll explain what I mean. That's right, here at Video Game Subscription Wars, I cover every game on every single video game subscription to help you decide which is the best one for you. I've recently done a video, the best FPS games on EA Origin Access, uh, which is now EA Play. So go check that out if you want to learn a little bit more about all of the shooters. And I've got a video coming up on the best online co-op games on EA Play, including classics like FIFA 20 Pro Clubs and Ultimate Chicken Horse. So please keep an eye out for that. And the best way to do that is by subscribing if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. My camera just died on me and I uh, can't be bothered to change the battery. So I'll just see you on the next one. Bye.